What's going on everybody? It's your boy Chris with Flip the World. You know where we are, as always, world famous Goodwill Bins. On a Monday, we're gonna walk in here, find some treasure that we can make a box to sell to somebody. Also, just so you know, we were gonna stop selling reseller boxes because we were gonna concentrate on starting to scale our growth. And instead of giving away the items, we were just gonna list them ourselves. But then we decided, you know what? We can't do that. We owe the people some reseller boxes. Well, technically we don't owe you anything, but we like to do reseller boxes. So anyway, let's get in there, find some profit, and see what's going down on a Monday. <laughs> You guys know how I feel about lightsabers. So electric arrow. Looks like it's just a stapler. I mean, I'll at least look it up. I mean, I was at least going to look it up. Then I got a pair of uh, just some Levi's mid-rise. Nothing fancy. They got some shoe boats. Those are like worn flat. We're gonna have pass on those. Don't know about New Balance. These are steel toe. Mm. Unacceptable. Tivas. Well, Tivas on these. The strappies, you just gotta check and make sure they're connected. Is it good? And I'm currently looking for this sketcher and this Sperry. So if you see them, point them out. Oh, there's that sketcher. So new balance right here. Take that. Sketchers, but they're all messed up. And then you get some Nike messed up. Now, I do see a lot of boots. Let me start paying attention to these boots. Let's Justin's. Let's see if I can find the other one of these. Here. Oh, still has a tag on it. And then here is a pair. Justin's as well. There's the other one. I'm gonna check those out in a second. And we're still looking for that Sperry. It's blue, folks. I know people sell Echo. I usually don't mess with them. Alright, I know what I just said about Echo, but these actually look really nice. Got that Salomon look, Sa Salmon, Salomon, Solomon, with the adjustables. I'll look those up. Also found a pair of sloggers. I don't know if you guys are familiar. These are like gardening clogs. L.L. Bean, driving loafers. We got two more shoe bins on this aisle. These little BOCs. Nice little clogs. Bag's getting full. Really could use a cart. Hoping Stacy's over there making that happen. I know y'all see that. Found that other Sperry. All right, so right now I'm on the hunt for two. Let's see what that says, right? Red Wing, a little Red Wing Chucka. That's a good shoe. And then this Hyper. What is this, a Hyper? Hyper Dome? Both singles, so we're gonna keep one of those. We got a stapler and now we have a vintage black and decker jigsaw and this pneumatic something. Looks like a coating gun. Doesn't look like it has a brand, so it's probably nothing, but we're gonna look both of those up. Oh, monkey brand. Guys, I've only been on this hole, this one row, which is the furthest from everyone else, and I've already found a whole bag. Everybody's all like, how do you survive at the bins? My answer is always, uh, you know, 
I just do what I can. Random dance go. Ah, boom. There it is. Another pair of dance go. Oh, look at Stacy's cart. Let's get to work. Jesus, I take the uh, blanket off and she's got a straight up fast food restaurant. Cash register. Jesus Christ. We got some Ariat. I don't know what the hell these are. They're really cool though. Little, uh, little bead designs. Really good condition. And she also found some dance goes. And then we've got some jeans. I was gonna chunk this yes you can electric can opener. I'd probably sell it as open box, but it's definitely new in box. Um, but there's only three listed and three sold, and all the three sold are for 25 or higher. So 100 percent sell through rate. Got these Orvis Tech cargo shorts, really good condition. Uh, there's 42 sold in the used, and there is 72 listed, so it's about a 61% sell through rate. And you can sell for about 20 to 25 dollars, so definitely pick up. Some Madewell wide legger, basically like some extreme flare. It's an awesome brand. Uh, again, this is one of the companies that is now starting to do a buyback program where they are actually buying back their own product. They'll send you a prepaid label, you send it into them, and then they reward you with uh, in store like cash, like Kohl's cash, but it's made well cash so you can buy new stuff. So they're actually going to start reselling their own inventory or their own product. They're just going to basically have customers send it in give them credit towards new stuff and then resell the, the used or second hand that way they make money they make their money twice so remember you're not the only reseller in the game uh, she's found three pairs since two kids one adult and then this looks like those 47 mwz wranglers which we will usually pick these up but if somebody's over starched them i usually pass on them so i'll have to check these out because they look pretty creased that, that extreme crease is not something that everybody's into. I actually always pass on these, but we just saw Joey sell some for a lot of money. Some Adriano Goldschmied. So I'm not even gonna look them up. Just gonna get them because Joey sold some. So like here's a brand, they're called Hydraulic and the model is the Super Low Metro. Never heard of it, but you look up used and there's 13 sold and they're all for around 20 to 25 bucks, which is our target. And there are 15 listed of this model. So 13 sold, 15 listed. So almost 100% sell through rate. So definitely gonna grab those. Never would have checked that brand out. And again, just because it's hydraulic doesn't mean that it's gonna sell. I mean, they might have a, a wide boot cut that doesn't sell, but the super low Metro seems to sell. So usually I pass on leapfrog stuff. This one looks a little advanced. So Leapster GS, there are 64 sold. Has a little stylus. And then also this one has a game adventure sketchers. Have to find a charger to make sure it works, which it looks like I should be able to have that. Uh, 64 sold and they all sell for 29 plus shipping, 32.95, 26.99, 29.99, 19 plus shipping, 30. So right around the 25 to 30 dollar range. Uh, those are without game, so maybe 35 with a game, because it looks like this game sells for seven dollars plus shipping. So if we can get it to work, oh, there's 55 listed, so there's over 100% sell through rate on this. So if we can get this to work, this would be a nice 30 to 35 dollars. All right, so the Black & Decker Jigsaw 7504 model, $15 shipped. The Aero ETF 50 electric staple gun is about $11 plus shipping. And then this Central Pneumatic um, air undercoating gun 
is not even listed. So, and again, it feels really cheap. So, all of this is going back. Not all vintage is worth it. All right, another Stacy find, obviously, is this 2002 Barney Mattel Interactive Laptop. It has, uh, it has little cartridges you pop in. There's an extra one in the back. There's five sold, 3240 plus 1070, 24 plus 10, and that's without cartridges, cartridges, cut, cut, cartridges, 2495 plus shipping with four cartridges, and then just the cartridges alone for 25 bucks. So I'm gonna pick this up and probably we'll get about 30 bucks for it. And if I can keep it away from Riley, I can actually sell it. All right, so I finally got everything organized so we can look at this cash register. It is a Sam's 4S SER 7000. The funny thing is it has a Goodwill sticker on it, so I think this is an old Goodwill sticker, which makes sense why it has like long sleeve sweaters, $5.99, furniture, jewelry, wear, shoes, shoes, $4.99. So yeah, this is an old Goodwill sticker. Obviously, this comes off and we can replace it with whatever. Um, I'm gonna have to drag it over there and plug it in as the thing that comes out and turn around for the price. Um, displays in good condition, has a little cash drawer and everything. It's got a plug, so I'll just take it over there and see if the plug's on. But the cool thing is, look at this, I, I know you can't see it, I'll put it up on the screen. Look, I'll screenshot it now so I don't forget. The picture of the last one sold on March 28th is a sideways, the photo sideways, and all you can see is this area of it and it's literally the title is amazing it just says sam's 4s ser 7000 cash register used sold for 400 dollars plus 100 dollars shipping there's three pictures on the listing i'm sorry there's two pictures on the listing both sideways and the description says works fine to available that's it nothing else 400 dollars plus shipping so needless to say this is Stacy's $100 item. This is her. If we don't find anything else for the rest of the week, she's good for the rest of the week. Works. Don't know how to work it, but it beeps when you push the buttons and the screen comes on. It's good enough for me. She brought more, and she's right there. I'm in this shot. Yep. And she brought another pile, including this jacket, so we'll look those up. So this refrigerator iron tough outdoor jacket looks like it sells for about 59 50 plus shipping 50 plus shipping 108 new 60 60 use 75 percent sell through rate so if we don't want it we'll definitely put it in the reseller box it's a good uh good find got these wrangler pro gear if you look at the bottom they got that interesting snake bite prevention called Wrangler Pro Gears. These are the PG 101 MBs. Uh, I'm assuming Stacy picked them up because they look so weird. But when you look them up, you got 14 plus shipping, 30 plus shipping, 15 plus shipping, 30 plus shipping, 25 plus shipping, 40 plus shipping. So there's six solds and there are eight listed. So almost 100% sell through and they sell for decent money and this is a good size i think these are 36 by 32 or 36 by 34. So, awesome all right so instead of going through that pile that stacy just brought one by one i just wanted to get them all folded and, and sorted and then show you what we're working with so we got some seven for all mankind we got some women's lucky we got some eddie bauer hiking we got some men's lucky this is our favorite to sell the men's 221 some guest capris these are levi cargo shorts that actually sell really well some lucky um, lolita skinnies and then we got some sevens and then these are levi's mile high super skinny they are like extreme high waist super skinny so all of those she grabbed and then i put these to the side because she wants some extra kudos she found a nice pair of rock revival distressed Kurt Street. And they have this awesome little button thingy right there where you're supposed to put uh, I'm pretty sure this is uh, a condom or a pocket watch pocket. I never know. I never used it for anything. But so she found 
Big Star last time and now Rock Revival. So again, I guess I'll keep her around for another week. That's what our cart looks like so far today. We've been here about an hour and a half. Besides the gigantic cash register, it's still full of jeans and shoes. Gotta love it. Nowhere better than the world famous Goodwill Benz. You hear how quiet it is today? Nobody's screaming. I'm about to scream if I can't get this off. Does that say citizens of humanity? Yes, it does. Yeah, y'all, this is literally the quietest the Benz has ever been, especially on a Monday. Like, there was no screaming or anything when the new row came out. No loud noises, banging. Kind of don't know what's going on. I feel like I'm in the Zorro world. Zorro world. <laughs> up is down, down is up. That last row, which was the church mouse quiet row, we got some free world joggers. It's about 20 bucks. Three pair of... American Eagle Super Stretch, all in different, you got, you know, washes, you got dark wash, light wash, and then like a light wash, light dark wash, the Thrasher shirt, Citizens for Humanity, and then if it doesn't fall on the ground, I'm still going through this last little bit, and then that's probably going to be a day for us, that'll be right at the two hour mark, which is about what I can handle. All right, guys, if the cash register wasn't enough, she literally, while I'm in line, as you can see, I'm in line to check out walks over and hands me this vintage Motorola brick Dynasty phone. If this thing works, it sells for 350 bucks. 350 bucks. If it doesn't work, it sells for like 75 bucks. Not to mention all the awesome profile photos, thumbnails, and fun I can have with this bad boy. Back at the house, day one from the bin sourcing is over. We got 57 items total, and we are keeping 40, and we have 17 for the start of the reseller box. We're keeping, as you know, all of the shoes. I think it is like 16 pairs. It's basically made up of Crocs, Dansko, and we found some good pairs of Borns. There's a few tennis shoes in there as well. The Barney laptop toy, Star Wars lightsaber, because I love them, and this Motorola Dynasty phone so awesome and we're keeping the thrasher shirt and we've got like however many pair of jeans basically lucky brand um mostly lucky brand honestly american eagle and then of course the citizen for humanity and then some wrangler and then just general levi's like some 569s now one of the coolest pieces we're keeping is this 1992 single stitch anheuser bud in texas uh, it's definitely got some stains on it, so I'm gonna have to do some work on it. But single stitch, Houston Brewery, writing on the bud, just a very nice piece. If I can clean it, we might just add it to our vintage collection that we have a tub of. But that's everything that we're keeping from this haul. Oh, and of course, that single red wing. I just couldn't leave it there and we couldn't find it and I don't want anyone else to find it because I'm a greedy SOB. No, I just forgot it was in the cart. So we got one red wing. Day two, folks. What was this? A uh, forest last snake guard shield? I have no idea what it is. New and pack. We'll go ahead and grab it. It has a barcode I can scan. Some Eddie Bauer boyfriend jeans. Just a pro tip. Usually when you see shoes that are covered in baby powder on the inside and out, that means those shoes stink. High top chucks and then this nice pair of kids. Look like some Sperry loafers. In real good condition. Oh, that's a nice van right there. And there's the other one. God bless America. Size 
large. It's a mermaid bottom, like elastic. You guys think I should get this and squeeze into it for a 20 package photo? Let me know in the comments. A little women's quarter zip. It's like a bread and butter item. Again, that's great for the reseller box. Now, typically, I'd pick these up, these Wrangler carpenter pants. But one thing you guys always want to be on the lookout for, because I just pulled that one, but you can totally tell that these have been hemmed. That's not a normal crease at the bottom. And when you roll it in, you can see this is what a typical professional from the manufacturer stitch is going to look like. They've been hemmed. And yeah, you can undo the, the little stitchings, but there's going to be that crease line where people drag their heel. So I pass on that stuff. So always pay attention to the bottom of the jeans because the last thing you want to do is get a pair that says like 34. And then you do your inseam measurement and it's actually a 30. Because more than likely, that's going to be a return. There we go. First of all, felt heavy. Second of all, I saw the dry cleaning tag. Nice little Tommy Bahama fleece. Again, it's a bread and butter item. Perfect for the reseller box. And here's an example of what I was looking for. See, I'm looking for these kind of tags. And what is this giant? This big old Under Armour jacket. That's sick. That's an Under Armour canvas jacket. They're clearing this row out. They're about to take all this. I'm glad I'm looking. Just did a look around to find Stacy, and she got a cart, so I am happy. I just got a cart. Oh my god. And a giant nail. Oh my god. No, I'm just kidding. Get you a Jaguar at the bins. Well, this is how I know Stacy's doing real good because these are the four bins that she's been digging in to fill that cart you just saw and I'm going back just behind her just to see if I can find anything and so far I have not found a single thing all right I found all these little ducks so that's my new mission today is to put little ducks and maybe one big duck in some people's carts that's just there's too many ducks in this pond we need to spread them out unattended cart number one oh boy maybe There. This is a big princess duck. Right there. Uh oh. Uncle Sam. There. We got cheerleader duck. Yay! Y'all watch this. Go. I'm gonna be busy for a minute. Of course, she found some Miss Me. Make that two pair of Miss Me. Oh, new tags. What do we got here? Some Columbia modern. There we go. Now, usually I'm gonna tell you not to pick up Bill Blast, but you can look at these pleated high waist mom jeans and tell that there is some woke gentrified probably doesn't bathe and has uh, dreadlocks in Portland that is l just looking to wear these to their next protest so this Under Armour canvas jacket obviously the uh, tree branches or antlers or whatever the hell that is in their logo means that this is the hunting version or the hunting uh, I found the exact same jacket. It sold for $100 on Poshmark. I'll go ahead and screenshot that so you guys can see that. But look at your boy. I found a $100 item. Oh, my God. Don't tell Stacy. She's going to be so mad. Even though she found, like, two items worth, like, 800 bucks yesterday. So I just scanned these Snake Guard Shields, the real tree for, like, when you're out hunting or whatever. I scanned the UPC. There's three sold. 25 bucks. 
and there's 15 listed, so not really worth it. Hey, back to back days with the Rock Revival. The Swiss Tech, like polyester button up, long sleeve, like cool fit, dry fit, some kind of fit, like hiking shirt. Goes for about 20, 25 bucks. This exact same one sold for, I think, $14.99 plus $10 shipping. So that's a nice little keeper. All right, Stacy, I see you coming up on the Levi's button down. Always having to show out. And there it is. She found a creeper jacket. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. A vintage memories only jacket. Size are rocking here. 2X, oh, that's perfect. If you weren't aware, members only jacket vintage members only jackets are very very sought after 30 bucks 30 bucks plus shipping 34 plus shipping 15 plus 12 34 plus 11 45 18 plus 10 22 so right around the 35 dollar mark the exact same jacket is actually right here and it sold for 34.95 so yeah boy there are Ten souls, thirteen listed. So almost a hundred percent. And I will add that was just searching two X. So obviously, if you just did members only jacket, you're gonna get a million souls and a million results. But just two X, ten sold, thirteen listed. So awesome. Okay, so these are 1980s vintage Nike X bowling shoes size 11 and a half there are six solds the solds that are on eBay are for the women's uh, there's only one men's and it was a black check not a gray and it sold for $79 uh, the only thing about these is I haven't done the bin test yet but this tongue is actually separated which is probably an easy fix but I'm also terrified to do the bin test because I don't want them to rip in half because they're just so cool but let's go ahead and do it ah it withstood it. Let's do this one. All right, so I don't know what we can get for them, but I'm not leaving them. They're in great condition. They're from the 80s. Nike bowling shoes. Nice. Yay, Stacy! This little Tim H Flex Pack battery. The battery itself, without the little charger, goes for about 20 bucks. There's 12.75 plus 5.25. There's 19.99. 20 bucks plus five shipping that's just for the battery so this will be something new 1999 so this will be a nice little addition to the reseller box all right new road champ champion reverse weave stacy came up on some vintage and then she got some carhartt and yeah they're nice and painted up so those kids can look like they got real jobs all right one quick once over before we leave she found some columbia some duluth canvas and um some Calvin Klein and some, we found some, uh, what were those, Eddie Bauer? They had paint on them, so, or they had stains on them. So that's gonna be a day. Again, probably over 50 pounds. As I'm waiting to check out, Stacy goes to the new row and brings back this inbox musical Christmas Express. The track pieces are actually on the back side. I checked. Scanned the barcode, it's from the 1990s, and we had one that sold for $100 plus $9.90. The track pieces alone sell for about $10, and then you could sell individually the, the actual, like, the train goes for $30 plus shipping, and then the little caboose and stuff like that. But all in all, this looks like something that, if we can get it, if they sell it to us for like five bucks, we could hold on to it till Q4, and it looks like it'll sell for over $100. So, right when we thought she wasn't gonna have a $100 item today, she does. We're back at the warehouse. <laughs> back at the warehouse. You see what I did there? Because I'm at the back of the warehouse. Sorry, guys. That was a corny dad joke. Anyway, day two is complete. We got 42 items. We're only keeping 19 of today's. The rest is going to the reseller box. So let's show you what we're keeping. Obviously, we're keeping the train set mainly because it's. I got to go through and make sure it's all there and it's old and... It's Stacy's $100 find. We're keeping a few pair of the jeans. These are actually those Rock Revival. They were supposed to be boot cut, but it looks like they were cut into shorts. I still think we can sell these, so we're gonna try it out. 
uh, keeping my hundred dollar fine since I never find anything worth a hundred bucks the underarm there's no need for laughing I don't know if you guys heard that uh, the Levi's jacket that she found and then of course we're keeping all of the shoes and when I say all I mean the, the five pairs that we found so that's everything from from day two haul so I think we keep a total of 59 items over two days which helps us get to our 140 a week goal now this is the reseller box this is yesterday's pile this is yesterday's pile and that jacket obviously the can opener in the game as well so let me show you all of these jeans were from today we've got some calvin kleins we have some levi's obviously I, I get a lot of levi's that's that's my main a lot of 505s there's some um adriana goldschmidt or whatever the name is lots of columbia and new with tags different kinds these are like the the i don't know what this is called the polyester and then you've got canvas material uh some champion big boy shorts those are 3x some nike joggers and then some more columbia canvas outer outerwear actives you got the tommy bahama pullover the polo pullover pullover pull pullover the members only jacket and then that swiss tech jacket and again, we're throwing in the uh, the flex pack that is a quick 20 bucks. So all in all, I think it's 40 items. So this is a larger a larger box than what we usually sell. We try to stay around $35. So that's more bang for your buck. We're looking at this box realistically 900 to 950. I really think you could stretch that big jacket out and get 70, but I would take 60 if somebody offered it. That is the two day mega haul. I did want to say that going forward, we're going to try and structure a same reseller box a week if we can. But now that we're trying to get 140 pieces for ourselves, if we can't, we're still going to do two boxes a week. I'm sorry, two boxes a month guaranteed. And you can put my name on it. Stamp of approval. Spitting everywhere because I got tea on my lips that's the haul that's the video the box will be going live at the end as always make sure you guys have subscribed give that thumbs up we really are seeing an uptick in our views probably because the boxes are amazing getting great results getting great reveals i keep doing this hand thing this is like my.com instead of saying dot com i just go like this a hundred times in the video thanks for watching see you on the next one the box is live <laughs>